This video will demonstrate how to use the View Set feature, which is the powerful filter for your database. The View Set filter enables you to assemble data according to the search parameters you choose in each module. You can create View Set filters in the Contacts, Works, Additions, Transactions, and Reference modules. The parameters can be as simple as a one category set or a sales report specific to an individual salesperson. I'll begin with a simple view set in the contacts module, filtering all the contacts that have an assigned category mailing list. To create a view set, click on the funnel icon located on the display toolbar. Then click the Create View Set button. The new view set window displays listing all the existing categories, types, salesperson, and tabs for location and purchases. Information listed in this window originated from entries in the contact records. To filter the contact records that have the assigned category mailing list, I will select that category and then click OK. Once you click OK, the results will be that all the mailing list contacts will display in the spreadsheet. Then there will be a new listing called New View 1 displayed in the module panel below the active module. Each time you use the View Set feature, a new view listing will be created in numerical order. The new view listings contain the selected parameters in the View Set window. You can rename them to reflect the search parameters, and by doing so, you will have a saved search which will auto-update as you enter information into the data file that meets that search criteria. If you choose not to rename the new view listing, when you close out of the module, the listing will disappear. I'll demonstrate how saved view sets automatically update. Notice there are 12 contacts on my mailing list. I will add one more to the Contacts module and then select the Saved Mailing List View Set once again. I'll open a contact record and assign the category Mailing List to the record, then Save and Close. Now I'll open the Saved View Set mailing list. Notice that the count of mailing list contacts increased by the one I just added. This is the auto update feature of the Saved View Set. I'll demonstrate how to create view sets for contacts assigned to individual salespeople. First, make the View Set icon active. Then click the Create View Set button. To open the Contacts View window, select the salesperson's designation, then click OK. The spreadsheet will now display all the contacts associated with the selected salesperson. Next, rename the new view set to the salesperson's name. The next popular view set I will demonstrate is the email view set. This view set will require using advanced search fields. The goal is to assemble all the contacts that have an email address with the assigned category of VIP. This time, I will click the advanced arrow, opening the section which lends itself to creating more complex data filters. Click on the drop down arrow of the first field. This will display a list of fields from which to choose. I'll select Email. In the second field, I'll select anywhere from the drop-down list to create a broad search. Then entering a character that will act as a common denominator for the search. You can add any criteria to the field, not necessarily one character. The last field on the right is the conjunction, which allows you to enter multiple parameters to the filter. 
Click the Add button to open a second row of blank fields. Then moving to the next row to continue entering the search parameters. Now the spreadsheet displays a list of VIP contacts that have an email address. Rename the new view set and save. Now I'll demonstrate the view set feature using the works module. In every module it's the same procedure with different information. The view set selection options are module specific. In the Works View Set window, the selection on the right covers the work availability, edition, and activity status. Below that, a filter for works included in transactions, and finally, the filter for ownership designation. On the left is the selection that covers the artist list and category options. Across the top, there are individual tabs for further selection. I'll begin with a very simple view set and select Sold. This will assemble all the sold works in the module. Once the view set is processed, the new View 1 listing can be renamed and saved. Just as in the context module, saved view sets will auto-update each time to reflect any changes that have been made in your inventory. The next set I'll demonstrate is to pull up all the inventory by one particular artist. The procedure is as simple as clicking the artist's name from the list and then clicking OK. This will assemble all the inventory records by the selected artist. A more complex view set would be for a particular type of inventory and the availability status. Here I will select Available Paintings and save the set. Doing this creates a quick link to the available inventory of paintings in the database. If you choose not to rename the view set, it will not be saved. When you close out of the module, the unnamed view set vanishes. As in all view set windows, there is an advanced option as well. I'll demonstrate how to assemble work records that have been modified as of a certain date. The final demonstration of view sets for this video will be in Transactions. In the Transactions module, filters can be created by date parameter, contact, payment method, and most other features of a transaction. I'll create a simple filter for all invoices for the year 2011. It's the same procedure. First open the View Set window, then choose your transaction, and in the date fields for from and to, enter the scope of your time frame. Rename the new view one to save it. This particular filter can be created for each year at the beginning of the year, so at any given moment you can see current inventory sales year to date. Remember, Saved View Sets auto-update to reflect changes made in the database. You can also monitor transaction activity per contact and develop a list of VIP clients. In the View Set window, select the Contact tab and choose the contact from the list. The View Set will assemble up-to-date transaction activity for that particular contact. For the art handlers, the shipping details and dates can be tracked.
For the accountant, payments and payment method can be tracked to assist with the bank statement reconciliation. This is accomplished by accessing the Advanced View Set listings. Notice the two unsaved view sets. They are active as I click on each one to display the filtered information. However, when I close the Transactions module and then reopen it, the two new view sets will no longer be listed. Please note that the data records remain in the database. It's only the view set listing which is removed. As I mentioned previously, the view set filter is available in each module. It's one of the most powerful tools in the Pro application and will most assuredly expedite the task of managing your inventory. Thank you for visiting our Art Systems video collection. For more tutorials, please visit our website www.artsystems.com forward slash tutorial.